right, today we're going to talk about the figurative language of alliteration. And we'll also be talking about rhyme. Now, alliteration and rhyme have to do with the sounds of the words. They're quite different from each other. Let's take a look at both. First, let's look about alliteration. Alliteration is all about the beginning sounds of words. When we talk about alliteration, we think of the beginning consonant sounds. If the words have the same beginning consonant sounds, more than two words have the same beginning consonant sounds, this is what alliteration is. Now, what is a consonant, you might ask? Consonants are all of the sounds that are not vowels. The vowels in English are A, E, I, O, U. So it's easier to remember the vowels because there's only five of them than to think of all 21 consonants. So again, it's the consonant sounds at the beginning of the words, not the vowel sounds. Let's look at some examples. The big bouncy ball bucked me on the head. If you notice, the B sound, b, 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 is repeated in this sentence. The, you can see big, bouncy, ball, bopped. This is alliteration. Carl cleaned cars all day. In this sentence, the C sound, k, 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 is repeated. Carl cleaned cars. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Now notice there's two different colors here. Because in this sentence, the s sound, Sally sells C, is different than the sh sound, the shells and shore. So just because the letter, the first letter is the same, doesn't mean that the, sa the first sound of the word is the same. C and shell have two different sounds. Eli the elephant sat on a chair that collapsed. Here's an example that is not alliteration. You might see two words with E, but remember, alliteration is not for the vowel sounds. So even if the vowel sounds are repeated, it is not considered alliteration. Also, Eli and elephant, E and E, are different sounds. Same with chair and collapsed. Ch is a different sound than k. So even though these two words start with C, their beginning sound is different. So you really have to think about what is the beginning sound that you hear, not just what is the beginning letter. Let's talk about rhyme. Rhyme is also repeated sounds, but instead of the beginning, we're looking at the end of the word, the last syllable. When the ending sounds of two words are the same, they rhyme. Here's some examples. Found, ground. Ound is the end syllable, it's the last syllable. So found and ground rhyme. Girl, pearl. Earl is the last syllable. Notice how they are spelled differently. They don't look the same, but they are the same sound. Just because two words are not spelled the same doesn't mean that they can't rhyme. Someone, anyone. One is the last syllable. So both of these have one, someone, anyone. Play, way. A is the last syllable. So you see here, it's spelled differently, A-Y or E-I-G-H, but sounds the same, play and way. Under, or uncover, discover. Now, er is the last syllable, or ver even is the last syllable, but these two words actually rhyme even more because they have multiple syllables that rhyme. Cover, cover. Uncover and discover rhyme. Juicy, spicy. So C is that last syllable. Juicy, spicy. Whenever, pretender. So in this one, unlike the uncover-discover example, we're just looking at that er sound at the end. 
So even though it's not ever an ender, those two don't rhyme exactly, but the er sound rhymes. So we could say that these two words rhyme. This last one's cross out because it does not rhyme. Hat and hate. At and ate do not sound the same. So even though these two words look alike, they do not rhyme. However, they have the same beginning sound, so you could say that these would make alliteration. Let's take a look at both. I want you to tell me in these sentences, do you see alliteration or rhyme? I wish I could chop some wood. If you said rhyme, you're correct. Could and would rhyme. This does not have alliteration because could and ch, chop, are different sounds. K and ch. So could and would rhyme. Let's look at the next example. He helped me hang my painting. This one is alliteration. He helped hang. We do not have rhyme in this sentence. How much does the horse's hay weigh? In this case, we have both. We have alliteration with how, horse, hay, and we have rhyme with hay and way. So this has both alliteration and rhyme. I hope that you understand the differences now between alliteration and rhyme, and you are going to be able to find some examples of alliteration and rhyme in writing.